everybody, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So how do you like the mad scientist look? So I said to the owner that I wasn't going to make any videos of this guitar, but I have to. It's just coming out too fucking nice to not show it to you guys. Now, as you can kind of see that there is some texture with the wood, it's mahogany, and you can kind of see it. But the thing about it is there is no texture in the finish so let's get into how this started off so what you're looking at is a BC Rich Mockingbird kick guitar nothing really too fancy with it right now fretboard is a unfinished maple fretboard the neck is an unfinished maple neck with a scarf joint. Plastic nut. Not too sure what the frets are. They're probably stainless steel. Who knows? The body is a three-piece, I believe, mahogany body. I'm not sure if it's a three-piece or a four-piece. To me, it kind of looks like a three-piece, so I'm going to go with that. This was supposed to be a gift to a friend. I kind of talked him into letting me finish it for him. Uh, kind of like the Eric C. Art of Noise style, but not too fancy. All right. So I started off with a sanding everything down, removing the frets, hitting everything with a 220 grit sandpaper. On the fretboard itself, it's a 12 inch radius fretboard. So I used a sanding block, 12 inch radius and hit that as well to even everything out making sure nothing was going to be wavy I didn't feel like doing a uh, just a finishing job on the fretboard itself with the frets in them without making sure that the fretboard is nice and flat so I plucked the frets out next I ended up doing a thing where I hit it with some epoxy primer now, the nice thing about epoxy primer is it fills in a lot of imperfections say like small minor dents in this case wood grain so I didn't have to use a wood grain filler so I used the uh, timber mate and that stuff works really really good but smells really bad next I ended up sanding that down hitting it with a gray primer and then after that sanding the gray primer 800 grit sandpaper and putting some color on it the color is a solar gold i liked it a lot it came out really nice it looked nice and smooth nice and flat but i didn't like it it was missing something it was just gold and then that was it there was nothing else to it so i ended up hitting the headstock with the same color and now the headstock and the fretboard and everything else is cleared but before I ended up putting any color on the headstock I cleared the neck itself with a few coats of the clear after doing a sanding on it not a wet sanding because it's you know this was 220 grit sandpaper on wood no water was involved so in this photo here you can kind of see that the headstock doesn't have color on it but there is a shine to the fretboard and the neck itself so like I said I didn't like the way this thing came out just being just gold it just was missing something so what I ended up doing is I stripped it back down to wood but the nice thing about it is the epoxy primer kind of stayed inside of all of the wood grain giving me where uh, I could see it a lot better transparent through this color and it worked out really nice and once I get this thing polished up and out in the sunlight you'll see what I'm talking about as well so the edges on here after I did the gold I ended up masking off the edges just giving me this this kind of like stripe area on the angled part of the body and 
I painted that with the diamond black or black diamond so it's going to have a little bit of a sparkle to it not much but a little bit there's also a little bit of a pearl inside of this paint here it's a custom color and well it's a custom guitar so I want to get to polishing this thing right now, get started on this thing. It's bugging the shit out of me because I want to see how well this is going to look polished up. It's already been prepped, sanded, everything else, and now it's time to hit it with the buffer and see what this color really looks like. Now, if you notice that the pickup cavities are black, so is the control cavity. That has been painted with the shielding paint and clear coated over so and I also took a uh, q-tip and went in on both sides with the shielding paint so all these cavities are connected to each other without having any extra wiring or extra wires going from one to the other and this is going to get an active system in it uh, so let's get to buffing this thing out again I'm not going to be showing what I'm using so pardon me So having a high gloss finish on something, you can really see different things that are in the finish that need to be corrected. Like on this here, when I brought it out in the sunlight, and I can kind of see it a little bit inside here. Maybe you can too with the glare, but there is a couple spots here. One little divot over here where there must have been a uh, piece of dust or something in the clear. So I have to remove those. Luckily, there is a lot of clear on this thing to where I can wet sand those out and then give it another buff and it should be like a sheet of glass over this thing. So in the sunlight, you can kind of see what I mean by um, shimmering, maybe, if that's the word that I'm looking for. As far as this gold, it looks like a, like a gold nugget. And the camera, I don't even know if it focused in on it right because trying to look at the playback of the video i've got my glasses on as well and it just seemed too much of maybe a glare i'm not too sure how on your end of how it's going to look but this thing came out really really good first sand wet sanding first buff well there's a few more things i gotta do to it before i can call it really finished and start doing the assembly as far as the electronics go all right so 
sorry to the owner I said I wasn't gonna make a video of this thing but I had to I just couldn't hide this thing anymore this thing is just unreal as far as the color that you chose for the finish and the transparency of it how the clear went on this thing and the ideas that I had as far as adding the black lines on it and stuff this thing just came out better than what I thought of I don't know if the owner thought as well but yeah so till next time you guys take it easy have a good one and I will catch up with y'all later